The anvil is one of the major components of your impact driver. The anvil both holds the driver bit and is struck by the hammer to create the torque to install or remove fasteners. Over time, the anvil can wear down where the hammer strikes against it. The opening for the driver bit can wear, causing the bit to slip. In some cases, the incorrect style of bit might be used, causing the bit to become badly stuck in the anvil. Replacing the anvil is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the retaining ring from the chuck. There's a flat on one side of the anvil. I'll use a pick through that flat to remove the retaining ring. Then I can remove the washer, the compression spring, the sleeve, the retaining ball. I'll use a magnet to remove it. And now the anvil spring. Now I'll remove half of the handle housing. For the two screws where the battery attaches, you'll need to use a security Torx driver. That's a regular Torx driver, but it has a hole in the center. Now I'll separate the gearbox assembly from the motor. I pull both pieces from the housing, and then just pull them apart. Now I need to remove the cap at the base of the gearbox assembly. I'll clamp the gearbox in my vise. The base unthreads from the rest of the gearbox. However, it is a reverse thread. I'll use a pair of adjustable pliers to remove it. Once it's completely loose, I'll remove the assembly from the vise, turn it over, and remove the outer housing. Now I can remove the anvil. To remove the steel ball, I'll use a magnet. Now I can install the new anvil. I'll place the steel ball on top of the shaft on the hammer assembly. Then I'll place the anvil over both. Now I'll reinstall the gearbox housing. You'll notice there's a series of tabs at the base of the gearbox. Those will align with the notches on the gearbox housing. I'll carefully turn the assembly over and clamp it back into my vise. And now I can tighten the cap. And again, remember it's a reverse thread. Now reinstall the gearbox to the motor. You'll need to take your time to make sure you get the gears aligned. Once they're aligned, align the gearbox and the motor with the housing. I'll make sure all the wires are tucked out of the way so they don't get pinched when I reinstall the housing. Now I can install the anvil spring you'll notice that there's a notch on one side. As I install it, that notch should be pointing out or away from the motor. Also, 
I'll align the notch with the notch in the anvil. Now we can install the steel ball. I'll press the anvil spring down. Install the ball into the opening on the anvil and then release the spring. Now I'll install the sleeve. Now the spring. I'll place the washer over the spring and compress it so the washer slides around the anvil. And now I can install the retaining ring. A small screwdriver works good to push the retaining ring down into the groove. And that's all it takes to replace the hex anvil in your impact driver. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.